We're always being told to be more efficient, so let's look at this wonderful equation for efficiency. Two questions to throw in your direction. A light bulb has a total input of 600 joules and converts 200 joules of this into light energy. What's the efficiency of the device? And number two, an engine has a total input of 2,000 kilojoules. The kinetic energy output is 1,500 kilojoules. What is the efficiency? Of course, we're going to do this through a song. Efficiency, efficiency, the useful output over input energy, then times a hundred to get percentage, it's the useful output over input energy, efficiency, 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 the useful output over input energy, then times a hundred to get percentage, it's the useful output over input energy, efficiency, 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 the useful output over input energy, then times a hundred to get percentage, it's the useful output over input energy, efficiency. So, oh, what a beautiful voice that was. So, let's go back to our question. So, if the total input is 600 joules and it converts 200 joules into light energy, the efficiency surely is the useful divided by the total times by 100. So, we should have done 200 divided by 600 times by 100 to get an efficiency of 33.3%. And then the second one, the engine has a total input of 2,000 kilojoules. The kinetic energy output, that's useful, is going to be 1,500 kilojoules. What is the efficiency? We're going to do 1,500 divided by 2,000 times by 100 gives you an efficiency of 75%. So let's remember, ladies and gentlemen, efficiency is the useful output divided by the total input times by 100.